In the creation of Almighty Allah, there are a lot of lessons for us. It only requires some peaceful contemplation to focus on the positivity in our lives. Let's go through Surah Fatir, verses 12 and 13, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا يَسْتَوِي الْبَحْرَانِ The two bodies of water are not alike. هَذَا عَلْبٌ فُرَاتٌ سَائِغٌ شَرَابُ One is fresh, palatable, and pleasant to drink, meaning it is easy to swallow down the throat. وَهَذَا مِلْحٌ أُجَاجِ And the other is salty and bitter, meaning the sea is one, but within that Allah has placed both aspects. On one side is palatable sweet water, and the other is very bitter. Yani, this world contains contradictions. Similar is the case with humans. Some people are very sweet and very pleasant, while others are very bitter and unpleasant. وَمِن كُلٍ تَأْكُلُونَ لَحْمًا Yet from them both you eat tender seafood, pointing towards fish or seafood. وَتَسْتَخْرِجُونَ حِلْيَةً تَلْبَسُونَهَا And extract ornaments to wear. Meaning, even from bitter water, there are benefits as well as from sweet one. So what do we learn from this about positive living? That the contradictions that Allah has placed in this world, there is a purpose behind them. It is in the natural disposition or fitra of human beings that they lean or move towards ease. For example, the person you like, you wish to stay in their company. And the one you dislike, you wish to flee away from them. But this is not practically possible. You have to stay where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed you. In this condition and circumstance, what should your mindset be? You ought to take benefits and advantage from both. If one is a source of comfort for us, it might be that the other helps us to make intellectually stronger because it is under challenges that we become sharp and conscious. For example, if you fear something while walking, you will walk faster unconsciously. So, something that you're afraid of apparently, it hurts you, but you extracted some goodness and benefit from it. So, positive thinking always keeps one happy and serene in all walks of life. Also, did you know that only 3% of water is sweet, the rest is bitter? Life would be difficult if the whole world had sweet water. So, we should accept all situations, the one that we adore, alhamdulillah, and from the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, if we find something unpleasant, the Sunnah is to say, Alhamdulillahi ala kulli hal, not complaints upon complaints with displeasure. Going back to the ayah, not only is there tender seafood, but also ornaments that you wear and beautify yourselves with. You see, when a person is opposed, he or she becomes more resilient, just like bricks become more solid when they're heated, they're polished. Opposition allows us as well to work better. وَتَسْتَخْرِجُونَ حِلْيَةً تَلْبَسُونَهَا To shine brighter, to adorn. وَتَرَوْا الْفُلْكَ فِيهِ مَوَاخِرَ لِتَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And you see the ships flowing their way through both. So you may seek his bounty and give thanks to him. So we understand that this world is not perfect. With difficulties there is ease. But some people are so afraid of responsibilities that they do not work productively. So a human being should always be ready for both types of conditions. The crux of the matter is being grateful. And gratefulness is either during ease or the better part is when a person finds positivity in rough times, finding pleasant aspects from unpleasant situations. This way we can be grateful all times. Moreover, these contradictions are part of life. They are everywhere. Let us at least ponder and reflect around, as in the next ayah, يُولِجُ اللَّيْلَ فِي النَّهَارِ He merges the night into the day. Daytime is a positive symbol. It is light, while night is darkness, apparently something scary. But daytime ends as well, because if it remains day throughout, we'll be tired. He merges the night into the day, which is seemingly unpleasant to you. وَيُولِجُ النَّهَارَ فِي اللَّيْلِ And he merges the day into the night, that, that night does not remain as well. So there is evil in every good, and every evil contains some good. Everything basically is in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So being satisfied with whatever comes our way is a balanced approach. وَسَخْرَ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرِ And he merges the day into the night. كُلٌّ يَجْرِي لِأَجَلٍ مُسَمَّى each runs its course for a term appointed. So, 
what should we do as well? We should also keep running, whether it is day or night, hot or cold. Our circumstances are in favor or against. Keep running, keep obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. ذَلِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمْ لَهُ الْمُلْكِ That is Allah, your Lord. All authority belongs to Him. All control is with Him alone, so surrender to Him alone. وَالَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ مَا يَمْلِكُونَ مِن قِطْمِيرِ And those whom you invoke other than Him do not possess as much as the membrane of a date seed. Qitmir is the very thin membrane over the date stone. Those whom you invoke other than Allah in times of difficulty, they cannot even benefit you as much as the membrane of a date seed. Therefore, the gist of these ayahs is to take heed from the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and rely and trust upon Him alone. Why? Because to Him belongs all power and might. So, let's stay positive through the teachings of Quran. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.